Alright, I'm back. Um, right, having encoded and sort of reviewed the footage last time, uh, I've decided a few things. I've decided that I'm going to pretty much stick to doing the main quest. Um, I might do a few of um, Moira's quests, but not yet. We're going to work on uh, on the main quest first. By talking to you, so don't leave! Damn it. Um, also, I made some little mistakes. I mean, they were kind of minor in the big scheme of things, you know, selling that um, full condition gun, and uh, I maybe could have battered a little bit more clever. Like, maybe shopped at Moira so I could buy some stealth boys or combat armor, say, or whatever. Uh, but all in all, I think that that was the honeymoon period. That that was the first session that I did, and it was the honeymoon period. And now we're all, that, that's done. So now I got to work on this properly now, and properly get into uh, the groove of things and try not to die. So, my dad told me about how you're going to disarm the bomb. Hi. He gave me some stuff for you when you get it done. Uh, dude, your dad's lying dead on the floor, over there. Um, what did he say? Who takes care of you? Well, with my dad gone, hmm. I don't really know. Dad always said that I'd have to learn to watch out for myself one day. Poor kid. Uh, so what do you think of Megaton then? I don't know. I used to like it. But ever what? since dad... All of like... I don't know. Two minutes ago. <laughs> uh, I have to go. What's the word around... No, I'm not going to pick up any random quests. I have to go. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Did I get anything from you? I could always go to his house. Uh, we have to leave here anyway. I don't think there's anything that I want here. Um, so I'm going to go and talk to Moriarty. Wherever the Can I do for you, hell Dolly? he is. Hello, Colin. How are you doing? You Colin Moriarty. Always pleased to see a new face, but I'm afraid you've had the misfortune to catch me, well, out of me element. I'm the owner and proprietor of Moriarty's, you see. The saloon? But please, see for yourself. Come by for a drink or twelve. Hmm. You and I, oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. So sort of gold you think I am? Yeah, look, right? Looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? My God, it's you. A little baby girl, all grown up. Persistent little flower, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here, all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Yeah. Uh, but wait a minute. How could you know who I am? Because my father and I were bo born in Vault 101. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well. Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. <laughs> Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Um. Hmm. That's kind of repeating the same thing. Stunned, shocked, really? What? Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Mm. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? It's probably not going to work, so, um, well, I don't think I'd lose anything from trying, do I? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Because Your dad was here, and now he's <coughs> not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information. And information is a commodity. And like any commodity, it must be sold at a reasonable market price. So, what's reasonable? Let's say, oh, a hundred caps, and daddy's location's yours. Apparently I don't have that much. Uh, I don't have that kind of money, dude. Guilty as charged. Tell you what, kid. 
I'm going to help you out, for old time's sake. If you don't have the caps to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Um, no favors. No, I'm going to do this, so... I'm not going to say anything, you know, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what sort of guy this is. Although I am supposed to be kind of uh, naive in that, and everyone's like, well, most people would be really nice to me in the vault, these guys would be, be nice to me, so I'm like, oh, sure, whatever, you know, say, type, kind, of, kind of thing, so, sure. Eager, eh? Good, I like that. It's nice to have a door in this shithole of a town for a change. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me, and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> hmm. There we go then. We're off to do that. Bye. I await our next meeting with bated breath. I'm sure you do. First, we have to do a few little things. Minor things. Do we sort our apparel before? Yeah, I didn't know what what to use really, because um, like this leather duster is, um, it looks nice, um, gives you more charisma and stuff, and and the hat. But I reckon we're gonna go with damage defense, honestly. What we're gonna do here is go into this, put that on three, and that on two, and three. And I'm not gonna bother with the silence pistol. I don't think. I mean, it's its damage is worse than ten millimeter one, and its condition is terrible. So, um, yeah, now how much, m I've only got 12, hmm, so you know what, I'm going to head to Moira's, 99 caps, ugh, and, um, going to head to Moira's, see if I can buy some more, um, Dad's ammunition for this. Dad's dead, dude, your dad's dead. And I've got his clothes, now I'm going to sell them, <laughs> what a heartless bitch I am. I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? I can I can do this bit. I mean, I'm I don't know the game well enough to know whether it's a good idea to do these quests or not. Honestly, I mean, for for the first part of the main quest at least, I think it's a good idea if I keep my level down. Um, but there are times I know when um, a better sort of um, well a higher level would be better because I'll have more hit points and uh, better equipment and better skills and stuff to deal with the things that the main quest throws at me. Uh, however, you know, I don't want it to be to get to the stage where I see death claws and massive, um, you know, super mutant overlords or whatever they are that are sort of roaming around because I, I want to have a chance against them. So I need to balance it, uh, and that's going to be quite a challenge because I don't know the game well enough to to do that effectively. So for now, I'm going to avoid these quests and see how I get on. Of course, you know, if if I die, then it means oh, I should have done some of these quests because I need to be higher level. Mm. So, um, bad decision on my part, but that's why I'm gonna gonna look at it anyway for now. So, um, yeah, but I can help you with it. I can help you about that, sure, yeah. Great! <gasps> Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. Well. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that one, I think. Bow before my glory. Found a dis I haven't found a food dispenser anywhere. Good riddance. No, I'm gonna go with this place. This outside place is amazing. In the main room, I can't even see the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there, too. That's great for a forward. Open with a joke and all that. Here, take the suit. Something tells me you might need it. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. No. <laughs> um, I was here to do some shopping, thanks. Well, okay, I guess. 
But I promise you'll love it when you hear about the guide. Maybe later, huh? Sure, maybe later. Your eyes went weird there. Um, for sale, right. 